All right, so let's see how much basic math you actually know. So here is the problem. We want to uh, subtract these two fractions. We have 1 fourth minus 5 over 8. And uh, we want to do this problem without a calculator. All right, so once again, no calculators. But uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in uh, one second. Then I'm going to show you two ways to solve this problem. I'm going to show you probably one of my uh, most uh, favorite math shortcuts uh, in just one second. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Again, 1 fourth minus 5 over 8. The correct answer here is negative 3 eighths. All right, now if you got this right, well, you're going to get all of this. You're going to get an A plus, 100%, a happy face, and a certificate of excellence for your knowledge of basic math and fractions. Now, if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm not sure what went wrong. Can you help me out? Well, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into things right now. Okay, so before I show you the steps here to subtract these uh, fractions, let's just do a quick review on adding and subtracting fractions in general. All right, so the big main idea is you cannot add or subtract fractions unless the denominators, which are the bottom numbers in fractions, so these numbers down here are the denominators, these uh, top numbers are the numerators. So uh, the denominators must be the same number in order to add and subtract fractions. So when you have an addition or subtraction problem when it comes to fractions, you need to look immediately at those denominators and ask yourself, are they, this, are they the same number? Now, if they are not, well, we have to fix up these fractions such that you do have a common denominator. Okay, so I'll show you that in just one second, but uh, when you do have a common denominator, matter of fact, uh, let me give you a simple example. Let's say seven over eight minus one over eight. Okay, so these fractions have a common denominator. In other words, the denominators are the same. So the answer will have the same denominator. So that will be eight. Okay, so in order to add or subtract fractions where you do have a common denominator, or the same denominator, all you need to do is uh, subtract or add the respective numerators to get your numerator. Okay, so seven minus one, of course, is six. So our final answer here is six over eight. Okay, now when it comes to fractions, always make sure you fully simplify and reduce your fractions. So uh, six over eight is equivalent to the fraction three over four or three fourths because uh, two goes into six three times and two goes into four four times. All right, so three-fourths is the reduced or uh, simplified version of this fraction. Okay, so again, the big main idea is that our denominators must be the same. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the procedure on how to subtract fractions when we do not have a common denominator. Okay, so here is our problem and clearly, our denominators are not the same. All right, so I'm gonna show you two methods here. And the first thing that I'm gonna show you is the LCD method. And this is uh, kind of the primary way that you learn about fractions in school. So the LCD stands for the lowest common denominator. Now, how you actually find the LCD, this is kind of a big topic in, uh, in and of itself. But uh, with a simple problem like this, the LCD, matter of fact, uh, let's talk about that right now. The LCD, or the lowest common denominator, is the lowest number that both uh, 8 and 4 divide into without a remainder. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So what, what, are t uh, what is a number that both 8 and 4 divide into without a remainder? Well, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, 4 times 8 is 32. So that is one number right there. Well, that is fantastic, but uh, there is a lower number than 32 that both 8 and 4 divide into without a remainder. How about 16, right? So 16 divided by 8 is 2, no remainder. And then 16 divided by 4 is 4, no remainder. But uh, is that the lowest number? No, the lowest number is 8. All right, so 8 goes into 8 uh, with no remainder. And then, of course, 8 divided by 4 is 2 with no remainder. Okay, so the lowest number 
that uh, both numbers in the denominators uh, denominator or both denominators, excuse me, go into without a remainder is conceptually the lowest common denominator. Now, again, there is a full procedure on how to find the LCD. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but uh, if you had a fraction, let's say like 3 over 508 minus uh, 7 over, oh, I don't know, 722, well, to find the LCD uh, here is much more complex, and uh, that's for another video. Okay, so here, though, we have a very basic problem, and again, uh, conceptually, the LCD is the lowest number that uh, both uh, both of the denominators divide into without a remainder. Okay, so uh, here again, the LCD is 8. Okay, so now that we know that the LCD is 8, we can uh, subtract these fractions using the LCD method. Okay, so how does that work? Well, you have to first know the LCD. Of course, that is 8. So we need to change uh, both fractions uh, such that the denominators are 8. So you can see here, this fraction already has a denominator of 8, so it is all ready. But uh, this fraction right here does not have a denominator of 8, so we need to change this 4 into an 8. Okay, so how do we change a 4 into an 8? Well, that's very easy. All we need to do is multiply it by 2. All right, so 2 times 4 is 8. But uh, if we multiply the denominator by 2, we also have to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. So 2 times 1 is 2. Now, uh, here we have the fraction 2 over 8. Now, the reason why, why we have to... Uh, uh, multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number is we are creating an equivalent fraction. In other words, two eighths is the same thing as one fourth. It's the same value. We can reduce two eighths down to one fourth, but uh, we don't want one fourth. We want the equivalent uh, fraction that has a denominator of eight. Okay, so now we have this problem right here, two eighths minus five eighths. And now, again, we have a uh, situation where we have common denominators. All right, so 8, again, is going to be our uh, denominator of our answer. And all we need to do to get the numerator is subtract 2 and 5. All right, so 2 minus 5, you have to be very careful here because uh, we are dealing with both positive and negative numbers. So 2 minus 5 is the same thing as 2 plus a negative 5, which is a negative 3. So our final answer is negative 3 over 8. Now, if you don't understand positive and negative numbers, or maybe even the LCD, I'm going to give you uh, some uh, suggestions at the end of this uh, video on how you can improve in all of this. All right, so this is one approach using the LCD method to subtract these fractions. Now we get, uh, we're going to get into this super exciting approach, and uh, this, ve uh, this may very well be my favorite shortcut in math. Okay, so 1 uh, fourth minus 5 eighths. We are not going to use the LCD to subtract these fractions. I'm going to show you a technique here called the bow tie method. This is something that uh, if you haven't seen before, you're going to love this method. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you the steps in just one second. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, shortcut method to add and subtract uh, fractions when you don't want to think about the LCD. Okay, so the name of this uh, method, now this is my name, I call it the bow tie method because it kind of reminds me of a bow tie. Now, just in case you don't know what a bow tie is, well, it's one of these things that looks like that right there. Now, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, do you wear a bow tie? Well, I do not, but uh, I still think they're pretty cool. But the main idea here is that you remember this pattern. All right, so this is a bow tie pattern because to add and subtract uh, fractions, 
we need to follow, or using this method, the bow tie method, we need to follow this uh, very specific pattern. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. So here it is. So step one is going to be, we're going to take this uh, denominator in the bottom right. Now, again, you have to do this in this exact order, right? So if you go out of order here, you will get the problem wrong. Okay, so you start with the bottom right denominator, and then you multiply this way. Now, uh, this cross multiplication right here is our first step, and then this one right here is our second step. This is going to form the numerator of our fraction, and then our last step down here is to multiply uh, the denominators. This will form the denominator of our fraction. Okay, so let's go ahead and again just uh, review uh, the steps here. So the first thing that we're going to do is start from the bottom right and multiply this way. Okay, so once we get this answer, we're going to subtract it because we have a subtraction problem here by the product of this denominator times this numerator. All right, so these two numbers will form the numerator and then 4 times 8 will form the denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this in action right now. Again, you have to uh, follow this uh, specific order. All right, so step one is eight times one, which of course is eight. Now, because this is a, a subtraction problem, we're going to put in the subtraction operator right there. Okay, so now step two is four times five, that is 20. All right, so these uh, first uh, two steps is going to form our numerator. Now, we'll clean this up in just one second, but to our last step is to get our denominator, which is going to be four times eight, which of course is 32. All right, so now we can uh, get our final answer. So let's clean up the numerator. Eight minus 20 is the same thing as eight plus negative 20, which is negative 12, and that'll be over uh, the denominator, 32. Okay, so the one thing about the bow tie method is uh, that you may not get your uh, fraction, and of course this is the answer, but sometimes your uh, answers need to be simplified or reduced, all right? So you may not get the LCD, the lowest uh, common denominator, but uh, this is pretty easy because uh, 4 or 12 can be divided by 4 three times, and then 32 divided by 4 is 8, so we end up with negative 3 over 8, which is the same answer as us using the LCD method. Okay, but uh, the great thing about the bow tie method is we're not even thinking here about uh, finding the lowest common denominator, changing fractions, none of that. All we're doing is simply following, uh, following this procedure. So 8 times 1 is 8 minus 4 times 5 is 20 over 4 times 8 is 32. Okay, so uh, again, as long as you know how to simplify and reduce uh, fractions, uh, this bow tie method is absolutely wonderful. Okay, now let's take a look at a quick algebraic example uh, using the bow tie method. So let's suppose I want to add x over y plus w over z. So if I don't want to think about the LCD, well, I can simply use the bow tie method here. All right, so z times x is what? Well, we can write that as zx in algebra. Now, again, uh, this is going to help form the numerator. So we have an addition problem, so I have to put plus right here. And then our second step is y times w, so I can write yw there. This is our numerator over the denominator y times z, which, of course, is yz. Okay, so this is our final answer. And again, I didn't even have to find... Uh, the LCD. I simply just use the bow tie method. Okay, so, um, you know, just as a reminder, uh, you do need to know uh, the lowest common denominator even in algebra. All right, so, you know, the purpose of this video is not to say, hey, don't use the LCD, you know, but to really it's to get you thinking about different tools to solve a problem. So, for example, if you uh, are facing a problem like this in algebra and you uh, need to uh, get a quick answer, you can simply just use the bow tie uh, shortcut. All right, but uh, whether you're using the bow tie method or the LCD method, the only way to really master this stuff and really get good at it, uh, good at it 
is to practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.